Hi everyone, I've just come along quickly to show you um, the beeswax, uh, waxing ephemera, beeswaxing ephemera. So I've got some printed out, Better put the lid on this, just drop it. That's the beeswax, this is a yellow one, you can get a clear one as well. You can get it on Amazon, it's about seven or eight pounds for, I think it's like a kilo of it or something like that. Um, so, and that it goes a long, long way. You will need a... Um, non stick mat and this is like a teflon mat that i'm using and to be honest i think I, no i didn't i thought i used the wrong side on that um so i've done a few pieces and you will obviously need your iron and have your iron um not too hot but not too cool because you need obviously you need the beeswax to melt so i'm going to just do a few pieces i just thought i'd come along and do that i don't do enough of these just like you know look what i'm doing <laughs> so i've just put a few of them on there like i said you don't need a lot and yep that's nice and hot and it just melts so easily it's actually sizzling can you hear it sizzle <laughs> um so that's that piece done actually i missed a little bit there but it can it makes it like see right through it now love love how it feels so I'll do a few more pieces with you um, an inv inventory tag this is uh, printable from the old design shop on Etsy so Too, it gets some iron is getting too cold so it's taking a little bit off of there however it's too hot or it's too cold so see mistakes have even happens on camera um just gonna give my iron a little wipe it hasn't done that before actually and i've done quite a bit of this um i want to get these because i'm going to make some tags and i am going to show you the tags when i do them when i've done them Make sure it's nice and hot. And whatever you do, don't let, see that needs a little bit more. Don't let your, um, your item go cold on the mat because I done that the first time and I went to peel it off and it was all stuck and it ripped. So that's another piece that I've done. So I'll just, what else have I got here? This piece. Got beeswax all running down there. I'm a messy crafter. That's how quick it is. So quick, so easy. And then you've just got this lovely, it kind of looks like vellum as well, um, which is kind of nifty because we all know how much, how expensive vellum can be. Let's try this little piece. My iron's actually starting to smoke a little bit because of the beeswax. Probably get um, electrocuted in a minute. See, it needs a little bit more. <clears throat> Excuse me. It sounds like I'm frying an egg. <laughs> There's another piece. Actually, I'm going. Oops. Just try not to burn myself. There we go. And like I said, don't let it stick to it too long. Otherwise, <clears throat> it will tear when you try to get it off. Let's see how this works. Now I've got quite a bit of wax on there already so I don't really need to add any more there we go another little piece so quick and easy um, Laurie just uh, Laurie uh, go on a red on the ridge um, she it's the first time I saw anyone do it was um, by Laurie and she just adds like little pieces like little bits onto like <clears throat> ATC cards and little embellishments and all that kind of stuff. So that's that. And again, it just becomes 
like translucent. Is that the right word? Translucent. Actually, I'm only going to put two, two, three, four bits on there. I guess with wax, um, every now and again your iron might uh, smoke. I don't know if that's normal because, like, you know, this is I'm new to all this. But this is, it's funny, I'll stand and do this. I'll use a sewing machine and I'll sew things, paper. I use the iron to iron paper. Somebody says to me, oh, mum, can you iron my shirt? I'm like, do it yourself. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else is like that. It's like, <clears throat> I get my husband to hand sew things and he's got, he'll say, you've got a sewing machine. I'm like, yeah, it's not for fabrics. <laughs> it's not for clothes. Here we go. You know, is that done? It's really cool. I love how um, I love how it looks. <clears throat> Let's do this lady here holding the child. See, that's where that's still hot. It's um, starting to. Yeah, I think I've just I'm putting too much on there. I have to give that a little wipe. <clears throat> And you get a really nice smell from it. And there's me saying, don't let it cool and stick on there. There's another piece. I'm going to use these to make some tags. Um, <clears throat> so I'll just do a few more. Um, and hope that's answered some of your questions about the beeswax. Um, and like I said, Amazon. And you can... You know, it's cheap as chips, as we say here in the UK, cheap as chips. And just be careful with your fingers, because it is hot. It does get rather hot. <clears throat> I'll do this last piece. It's starting to smoke again, it's because of the, the wax. There we go. I need another piece there. Sorry, I keep putting my arms around in front, sorry. There we go. So when I'm going to use these, I might actually do another video soon, like after this, and show you what I'm, what I'm doing with them, or some of them anyway. I'm just going to make some tags. <clears throat> Excuse me. I might as well just do these last three. while it's on, while the camera's running. It's literally stuck to that. <laughs> Here we go, oh, see that's what it is. It's when I'm dragging it, it's actually taking off the ink on that one. So that one's gone in the bin. Um, yeah, you can see it's coming off from my iron. So I don't know why that's doing that because it never done it before. Trust it to happen while I'm on camera. <clears throat> And that bit is literally stuck to the the iron <laughs> but yeah so just be careful because it's hot and obviously you know when wax is hot it it tends to stick and then the burning would actually be a little bit more intense here we go out like that was hot that's changed the texture on that quite a bit um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if this is too hot. I can't remember what setting I had it on before, but it's obviously burning that, so don't do that. <laughs> Thing is, you'll have to take it's each iron's different, isn't it? Um, you know, this is just a little travel iron, so um, and I wouldn't use again. I look, so you see that it's actually imprinted, so I would take that as being too hot, so I shouldn't have had it up at like two and a half, three. There we go. So there we have it. So you've got all the little mistakes there as well. But yeah, tip, you know, use your scrap pieces to test it first if you're going to do it. If you're going to go and buy the beeswax, um, just do it on scrap pieces. Don't be using it on, especially if you're, you've got original 
vintage ephemera you don't want to ruin it um so i would just test it on little things test it out with your iron see what temperature works well with you depending on i take it because this is like it's heat resistant and all that kind of stuff maybe that was just too hot for it who knows so this was just a little bit of an experimental video <laughs> um if you have any questions go and ask laurie <laughs> she knows best um and uh like if if you do feel you've got to ask me a question i will try and answer it as as best i can i might have to go through laurie to get the answer but yeah um i just thought i'd do that since i had been asked and whilst i was doing it so um thank you for watching bye